Hey y'all, it's Marie here, and I'm back yet again with another video just for y'all. Today we're going to be talking about some college advice for freshmen, transfers, whatever else, you know. So let's get into it. So I'm here with my sweet mate, Tiara. Hi. We've been friends since middle school, and now we're in college together. Sweet mate. Sweet. Ooh, too sweet. All right. All right. So what would you say your first word of advice is? First word of advice is to watch who you room with. <laughs> it don't sure. matter who they are, how long you knew them, how little you knew them. Be careful, pick wisely. And if you do get somebody you don't really agree with on everything, do your best. And then next semester, change it quick. See, okay, people always tell you not to room with like your best friends. And like, there's a reason for it. There's a reason behind everything. But well, then again, like, we're best friends, so yeah. it kind of works out. It depends who the person is. You have to room with a person who like is not afraid to speak up. Who's not afraid to speak up? You know them, but you're fine with like being apart for a little bit. And also, like y'all living like situation, like I kind of agree with everything. Yeah, agree on things, even if you disagree. You guys know how to like resolve conflicts together. Like, you can't be with a person who is, like, you're friends with them, but you're afraid to speak to them, like, yeah. when something goes wrong. You gotta be able to speak to the person, because... And if you do try to speak to them, and they don't change after chance after chance, then that's when you have to go to y'all RA. For sure. And have a meeting about what y'all can do to change it, which means the person gotta go. And in the beginning of the semester... When you first get into your room, you'll get a uh, contract for your suite mates and your roommates. You guys gotta fill out, agree on the stuff that you guys want and you don't want, like the rules of the room. And if you also have problems, go to your RA and ask them to see the contract and go over that contract again. Cause that's really important. And everybody has to sign it. So it's like you're agreeing to it, a legal statement. So yeah. Next word of advice or like tips or whatever, we would say like sharing with your roommates and your suite mates. That's a very big thing in college. We're all college students, all in the same situation, all, you know, broke college students, you know. So when it comes to like money or going to the store, buying things for everybody, you guys make sure that you have like a plan set out on how you're going to spend your money and how you're going to uh, budget for yourself and as well for the thing you're gonna share with your roommates. If you don't have the money then, or any like, if you're not able to share at the moment, then make sure you communicate with your roommate, the suitmate, let them know so they don't feel like you're not doing your part. Communication is a really big factor. Must be, trust me. <laughs> Make your little group chats or whatever, you know, talk often, have sweet meets, that's what we call them, sweet meets. We meet up. Talk about rules, talk about what we like, what we dislike. Make sure you do all that. Cause don't be scared. Yeah, don't be scared. Cause then you're paying how much money to sit in the um, room and you don't agree with anybody. See, it's don't much waste your money. money. To waste. Seriously, very important. This next word of advice is super duper duper important. Like beyond important. Okay, so make sure make be sure your hygiene, cleanliness, you cleaning your room is on point. Like up here. It shouldn't be down here be at all. freaking on, okay? All. You need to, like, you can be sitting around, like, not washing or not cleaning your room. Or you're living with people, like, you might know or you may not even know. Like, you cannot, cannot Just sit around. Sit not around. Anything. Yeah. Like, y'all all should have, like, a day where everybody cleans up mm -hmm. and, like, they split everything up evenly between everybody and also everybody cleaning their own parts of the room. Like, I'm not trying to say, like, it's your business on what's on the other side of the room, but it does make an effect on the other person. It like, it's like a weird smell on the other <laughs> side of the room. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's gonna affect, like, for example, if Marie room side of her room was smelling bad and I'm on the other side of the room 
I can smell it. And for me, I can smell like every small thing I can smell, like aspirin. Like, I can smell like everything. <laughs> so, they really affect the other person. They can mm-hmm. feel like, like, irritated. I get irritated really quick if I smell stuff that's like, so weird. Hygiene, cleaning your room, cleanliness is a big factor. That's a fast way to make enemies. Especially <laughs> hygiene. That gotta, you gotta fix it. Fast if you way. don't know how to get rid of the smell, then Google is always there for you. Google, please. Your mother, like, your dad, your guardian. I don't know. So and like, even like, if you're like struggling with something or like you're going through something, tell your sweet mates, tell your roommates because they can help you. Like everybody's a resource in college. You gotta make connections. That's how you get through in life. Like, Talk to people, get to know them, make friends, talk to your sweet mates and roommates, because you're going to be living with them for, like, months. So, get to know them. And make sure that hygiene, cleanliness. I feel like hygiene is something that shouldn't have an um, excuse about. Yeah. Like, oh, I didn't, I didn't do this today, or I didn't do that. Because, trust me, your sweet mate can smell it. Trust me. Yeah. They can smell it. Also a good tip. Um, if you, like, make it better every day, like, we talked about this, make it better every day, and it feels like you, like, you know, do something productive. Accomplish. At you least feel one task every day. Yeah, if you make your bed, like, that's a good tip. It just makes you, like, look better, like, especially if you live with strangers and you don't want to make a bad impression on a person, even your friends. Sometimes you don't know how your friend lives. Yeah. So if you, like, if I can see that your room is always dirty, or your, like, your space, and you just... All we do is like dirty kind of stuff. I don't really think you're a dirty person. That's just my first impression on you. And that's really hard to um, erase my head. Trust me. <laughs> All right, y'all. Next piece of advice we would say is to like try and be independent, but also stay safe. So like, you know, stay in groups and like don't go out at night by yourself. All like that basic common sense stuff. But also try to be independent. Like you're off at college with your parents try new things try to learn adulting you know because adulting is something sometimes interesting. it's kind of hard for some people <laughs> yes adulting like for me i know like, some stuff but i don't know everything like, you know maybe one day i know because we're freaking what 18 i'm saying something wrong to everything for me so it's like well, i'm used to it though so try to learn stuff on your own without your parents call, call. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah adulting that's one hard thing in life that you don't learn in school you gotta learn on your own so try it even though it's hard i don't know how to do it but you know y'all can try our next tip would be to manage your time wisely like right when you get here you'll have a little bit of time before classes start to so map out your uh classes so like look at your schedule see where your classes are Go to your classes. If you have classes like across campus and like you gotta she like, run, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> make sure you time it and see how long it takes you because you might be late for class. You, have, like, you never know. You only have like a 15 minute gap between classes. If you have yeah. class right after the other one, only a 15 minute gap. So you gotta time those classes out. Make sure you get there on time. Hopefully, you can have some online classes. True. Because yeah. of COVID. Yeah, and Corona is still. Yeah. And, um, what else? You know, map out your classes. Talk to your teachers if you feel like you can't like make it on time because you know some people may move slower than others, and some people may have like something to impair them from getting to class on time. So make sure you talk to your teachers. Communicate. You know, communication. Is some key. professors might understand you. Some of them wouldn't care. It's a, it just depends on which professor you talk to. Yeah. So make sure you get to class on time. And do not procrastinate, bro. Don't procrastinate. At like, all. And a couple times, papers. my first semester, uh-uh. I did a whole two-page essay in one day. I passed <laughs> with an 80-something, but it really, like, mentally hurt me. Like, yeah. I was just drained and confused and just felt like the best. And that's another thing, too. Take care of your mental health and your physical health. Like, college... Like, you may go to fast food restaurants because that might be, like, the only thing you see. Or it might be, like, the fastest option for you. But make sure you're still taking care of your body and taking care of your mind. Because at the end of the day, the most important thing is you. You need to take care of yourself. Because what's the point 
of doing all this if you're not gonna take care of yourself. Just gonna let yourself go. Make sure you take care of yourself because that's the most important thing. That was easy. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing would be, even though college is school and it's for school, make sure you go out and still have fun. That's also part of taking care of your mind and your body. Like, you gotta go out. You can't just have classes. Like, class, 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 and class, sleep. class. That's like, honestly, you don't wanna come to college and waste your money by just sitting, sitting in the bed for the next four years or how many years you're gonna be here. Mm -hmm. College more just than learning. It's more about experiences. Yeah. Experiences, getting to know people, making contact. That's how you make it, make it big in life. I, knowing people that can help you out later in life after college. Yeah, and don't be afraid to talk to people and try new things. Cause there's a lot of people here that are afraid to like go out and like put themselves out there and talk to people. It's not, it's really not hard. It is like what I do. Most people are really friendly. You cut me off. But what I do usually <laughs> is that I go make up like something, like say, is a sandwich still a sandwich? If it has all the stuff of a sandwich, but it's not in sandwich form, just go ask that to somebody random that you want to talk to. Boom, there you go. Start a conversation. And then just, you know, snowball from there. It's really not hard. Or like go on Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. Not even a lot of friendly looking for friends anyway, so. Especially freshmen. Like, Fre freshmen and transfers. And also, don't just make freshman friends. Make friends from all different, like, classes. Like, we'll freshman, sophomore. I like. For real. Like, you can get textbooks and stuff from your upperclassmen friends. People <laughs> people will tell you to make upperclassmen friends so you can get rides. And I mean, if you, you don't can, have a car, but that's kind of using people, but. I mean, yeah, do you do Some them. people do that. But, yeah. Make friends, all different classes, because people are cool, you know. Everywhere you go, there's going to be people, like, good people and bad people. So why not just go out? Put yourself out there. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Rachel. Corvette, Corvette. That's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, whatever else, I guess. And we'll see you in the next one. Adios.